We're in downtown Toronto at Union Station on our way to Canada's capital, Ottawa. Ottawa and Toronto are two cities located about 450 kilometers apart in southern Ontario, Canada. Ottawa is the capital of Canada and has a population of just under a million people. Toronto is the largest city in Canada with a population of over 6 million. Because of the importance of these two cities, there is lots of travel between them. If you have a car, you can drive it. But if you're not driving, the two major options for moving between Toronto and Ottawa are plane or train. We've decided to take the train so we can see our families in both cities, but flying is also an option. So let's see if we made the right choice. Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Emily. And we've taken early retirement so that we can travel the world, spend more time with family and friends, and take on projects that are meaningful to us. Today we're taking the train from Toronto to Ottawa and we're going to compare what that's like to flying. We're going to compare flying and taking the train using these criteria. Time, comfort, eco-friendliness, and price. Let's start by talking about time. The time on the train between Toronto and Ottawa is usually about 4 hours and 40 minutes. Since Chris and I are going to visit his dad in Carlton Place, we're going to get off in Smith's Falls, two stops before Ottawa, so our time on the train is only about four hours. A non-stop flight between the two cities is an hour and five minutes. That's a difference of three hours and 35 minutes for straight flying or train time. Via Rail recommends that we get to the station 30 minutes before the train's departure time. If we were leaving out of the airport, we'd need to be there two hours ahead of time. Taking that into account, the train is 4 hours and 40 minutes plus 30 minutes for a total time of 5 hours and 10 minutes. Flying would be 1 hour and 5 minutes plus spending 2 hours at the airport for a total time of 3 hours and 5 minutes. We're here in line about 30 minutes before our train. Oh, lots of people in line, but it seems to be moving pretty quickly. When you take the train, you don't have to worry about checking your bags because all your luggage gets on with you. And we're on our way right at 12.17. We're definitely starting off better than the last flight we took. <laughs> the last time we flew from Toronto to Ottawa, our flight was delayed by five hours. Via Rail often has delays as well, but right now we're tracking on time, so let's see if that lasts. Yeah, our experience with Via is that the train usually leaves on time, then somehow slows down along the route, so you end up arriving much later than you expected. Let's talk about comfort on the train. I find the economy seats on the train to be a lot more comfortable than those on the plane. They're about the same width, but you get a lot more leg room. And also, you don't have that dreaded middle seat that you often get on a plane. The seating is pretty good, but what about the food? We don't find the food available on the train to be that great, so we bring our own lunch. But if you do want to buy something to eat, the food cart and friendly service team come by regularly. Let's go check out the bathrooms. Oh, these bathrooms are definitely not luxurious, but they do have more room than the ones on the plane, and you don't have to wait until after taxi and takeoff to use them. We're an hour and 15 minutes into our trip, and we're already starting to fall behind. Yeah, we were supposed to get here at 1.19, and it's 1.27, and we just left Port Hope. Fortunately, we have these old school plugs to keep our devices charged. Big advantage for the train, you don't have to turn off your electronic devices for takeoff and landing. You also get cell service for most of the way, and there's free Wi-Fi, though it's a little bit spotty. Moving on to the eco-friendliness of these North American trains. A study from the University of Ottawa actually found that trains can be much worse for the environment than flying, especially here in North America, where we operate diesel trains on less direct rail routes. In the case of our route from Toronto to Ottawa, our carbon footprint is about 25% of what it would be flying. But on longer routes here in North America, the carbon footprint for train travel can be five times higher than taking the plane, depending on where you're going. Here we are pulling into Kingston Station about halfway through our trip, and we're tracking well at only 10 minutes behind schedule. Lastly, let's talk about the price of the train compared to flying. We bought our tickets pretty far in advance and their economy tickets, and they're only $50 each. You can spend up to $300 for your seats, depending on what car you want to be in. As Chris said, train tickets range in price from $50 to $300 on this route. Our recent online searches tell us that flights start at about $160 and can go up to over $800. With all that said about time, price, comfort, and eco-friendliness, did our train get in on time? Just as we're starting to think yes, we stop on the tracks. Seems we need to wait for another train to pass. So we wait. And wait. And wait. And finally, it's here. 
our train picks up speed and we skip a stop that passengers aren't getting on or off at to make up for lost time. And soon enough, we're hearing our stop for Smith's Falls announced. Attention please, the next station stop at Smith Falls in approximately nine minutes. We're almost there. Uh, even with a few delays, we're just getting in about 10 minutes late. Looking forward to seeing my dad. And there's Chris's dad waiting for us. That's our video for today. We'll see you in the next one.